Even if you don't listen to the crooners kind of music today, chances are if you heard a couple of bars from one of their old songs, you could rattle off the title and even sing some of the words, though probably not on key. Their music was accessible, and that's why people like Al Martino still have a following today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Al Martino! Thank you. Al Martino may be the only singer who got his big break in a pizzeria. While having dinner one night, he met a man who said he had written a song he wanted Martino to record. He indicated to me that he was looking for a person by the name of Al Martino. He saw me on the Arthur Godfrey show about a month prior to that, and he came to New York City looking for me. And I had a tough time trying to convince him that he was talking to Al Martino. But that's how my career started. Here in My Heart was that song. It sold over a million records and changed the course of young Martino's life, keeping him out of his father's construction business. I said, look, uh, Papa, I says, um, this is for you, but <laughs> not for me. I says, I've got to go out and do other things. So he says, what do you want to be? I said, well, I'm going to go into the show business. And it took him a long time to uh, endorse it. But after a few hit records. First hit record. The first hit record. <laughs> First hit record, he, uh, he would go to the corner bar and watch me on television and say, that's my boy. <laughs> Speak softly up so no one hears us from the sky. Suddenly, Al Martino had become a household name, but he had little opportunity to savor his success. Managed by the underworld, they controlled where he sang, how much he earned. Martino felt trapped. Later, his role in The Godfather reflected the darker side of his own earlier career. And act like a man! What's the matter with you? Is this how you turn around a Hollywood Pinocchio that uh, cries like a woman? It was something like the picture, Godfather. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to be in that film. It was a, it was a chance to, to express myself, to escape from all that, because it was locked inside of me all those years. When did that break the association with the underworld? When I left the United States and lived in, in England by popular demand. I was actually almost asked to leave the country at the time. Martino's exile lasted eight years. He was popular in Europe, appearing before packed houses, even royalty. Yet his greatest satisfaction came when he finally returned home to fans who had not forgotten. While he was overseas, Martino developed an interest in cooking. His early dishes were hardly of the gourmet variety. In fact, he had to call all the way home to his mother in Philadelphia for help. When I was in Scotland, I called her there, and back in those days, you made a telephone call. It was very expensive. And I was on the phone for an hour and three quarters making one dish. <laughs> so you know what that dish cost me. <laughs> what was that dish? Uh, spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> Well, he's still cooking spaghetti and meatballs, but he no longer has to call his mother for instructions. I'd like to see a restaurant do this. <laughs> to live without my music would be impossible to do. Martino recorded a string of hits, I Love You Because, Mary in the Morning, Spanish Eyes, but the music business was rapidly changing. Record companies seemed only interested in signing rock artists, and radio stations began playing less and less of the romantic, easy listening tunes that singers like Martino had made famous. When the music business began to change, and uh, they were going more for the rock and roll sound, and artists like yourself weren't getting played and weren't getting hit records, did that bother you? Yeah, that, there was a time when all I did was think about getting that hit song. Every single day, I have to worry about who's going to submit that song to me? Where am I going to get it? Well, I realize that it's not going to come. They're not out there. They're out there for cer certain people, but not for me. But without any new hit records, Martino still performs 40 weeks a year. His old albums keep right on selling. This is just adios and a goodbye. It seems a lot of people still prefer the kind of song they can sing along to. Songs like Martino's Spanish Eyes. It's become my favorite song because it was a hit all over the world. 
just about in every country. So no matter where I go, this song is well known. Say you and your Spanish eyes will wait for me. Since the crooners can't hide their voices in a maze of electronic gadgetry, they have to keep the old pipes in shape, and several of them told me the same thing. If they don't vocalize every day, the first day, they know it. The second day, the band knows it. And the third day, the audience knows it. <laughs>